Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another episode of Ranting and Raving with yours truly. And we're bringing the heat, Austin 316, cross it out, it's Kevin 316. And well, we're, we're driving back into the fandom menace. So, for the past eight months or so, I've been watching this channel, uh, Mad Max the Mandalorian, who now goes by Geeks and Gamers Entertainment, and... He was one of the first to really be exposing the Fandom Menace, one of the more lar- the larger uh, platforms to be exposing the Fandom Menace uh, from the get-go. And the fact that it's really just the circle of hate. When you go to search something, for example, uh, the latest outrage that they have is The Last of Us 2, the video game by Sony and Naughty Dog. If you were to search that right now and filter for, uh, you know, I guess the, the past week in results, you would find videos from Nerd Roddick, The Bullshit Artist, Geeks and Gamers, every one of the, the Orbiters, Clownfish TV, all these people that, that talk about the same thing, and every video I would imagine is between 15 and 25 minutes long, uh, complaining, saying the same exact talking points or whatever, the leak said this, and it's bad, and it's woke, and it's trash, and Neil Druckmann, who I guess is one of the creators or leads at Naughty Dog, I don't really care, honestly, The Last of Us I played it for PS3. I did not care for it because I'm not big into the survival horror Resident Evil type game. So I don't really care. But the first game did get universal praise by the critics and fans alike. Everyone loved it. I think it won Game of the Year. And um, so far, the critics, it's not out yet for regular people. But the critics have given Last of Us 2 universal praise. So we'll see what the, the fans think of it. And it's just the whole thing, the whole narrative with the, uh, the Last Jedi. I mean, The Last Jedi sucked. But you saw the critics all loved it and the fans were very mixed to, to pour on it. And that's the thing too. These people are still complaining three years later about, about The Last Jedi, about Kathleen Kennedy will be gone tomorrow. And Dave Filoni and, and John Favreau and George Lucas all hate her and oh, they're lobbying for her to leave. But, you know, that's just the thing. But my point with the whole fandom menace is they're constantly going on hate. And, and they never talk about anything positive. If you're subscribed to my channel, you know I do the comic book reviews, positivity, and comics. And what I do is I, when I go to the store, I buy the books that I'm currently reading, like Batman, Justice League, The Flash, and I pick up things that I find interesting, like those anthologies for uh, Catwoman and Joker and things like that. And I'm honest. If the book's good, I tell you it's good. If it's bad, I tell you it's bad. And I don't go out of my way buying the new Warriors or, or um, you know, whatever the woke books are that uh, your boy Moron and, and the others review, like X-Men. I mean, X-Men hasn't been very good in my honest opinion. And really, any of like Image Comics or anything like that, not been good. Really, the only good things have been DC Comics, and for Marvel, it's been Daredevil and Thor. So I, I'm honest, and I, I buy things and review things that I like. It's just like how you know they all came to the conclusion that they all hate The Last Jedi, and they all hated Solo. Yet when The Rise of Skywalker came out, they all went and saw it opening night. If you hate it so much, and you want to send a message to, to Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy and all of them, you should have boycotted the film. That, you know, they sort of did that with Solo. I mean, Solo didn't, what did it make? $400,000? It, it didn't even make a billion dollars. Didn't even come close to a billion dollars. Didn't even make half a billion dollars. And uh, that came out Memorial Day weekend and <laughs> did nothing. But my point is, they're complaining about this video game, yet... There have been very good video games that have recently come out, such as Final Fantasy VII Remake and Persona 5 Royal Edition, which I didn't hear a peep about. And uh, they just had this Sony uh, PS5 event where they unveiled a whole bunch of new games, such as the new Ratchet & Clank game, a new Little Big Planet game, uh, the Spider-Man Miles or Morales game, which the Spider-Man PS4 game was great. And uh, I'm not really a big fan of Miles Morales, but if it's the same team... Uh, you know, it, it, they're very similar to the Batman Arkham games. It's going to be great. I, I'm, I'll i get it. In fact, when I get a PS5, I'm not going to get a PS5 on launch. We'll see how the price is. But, you know, I'm gonna, I'm a Sony guy through and through. Got to get that. But uh, the the fact of the matter is, you know, I, can, I watch these channels for a year and a half, two years, and they never talk about what they like. Many times, Nerd Roddick, we'll give him as an example, talks about how much he loves Lord of the Rings. Yet there's no video on his channel saying how much he loves Lord of the Rings, giving reviews of all the movies, comparing and contrasting the movies to the books. I love the Lord of the Rings. And actually, if you go back on my channel, I did like a 20 minute video back in January 
where I talked about all three movies. Because every year I, I rewatched the movies, the extended editions, and I did a, a little discussion, you know, just talking to the camera like I am now, going through the movies, telling you what I liked. Why Why can't he do that if he loves Lord of the Rings so much? Uh, for the bullshit artist, he likes James Bond. He's talked about it many times in the past. Why is there no, like, video ranking all 24 James Bond movies from best to greatest with the new one at the bottom, clearly, as they all... Oh, the black woman is in it, so it's woke. Mini Jeremy loves Nintendo. Where is any of his gaming content for a channel named Geeks and Gamers? Oh, it's on the Gaming with Geeks channel because he has to appease the algorithm gods by uh, continue, continuing his outrage on films. I mean, it's just total, total craziness. And those are like the top three. There's all the other channels. You have the Star Wars girl who is, is not very smart. Let's just put it that way. Her videos, she goes on and on, and she's got no clue what she's talking about. When she pops it on the streams, she literally has no clue what is going on. And, uh, you know, claims to be a fan of all these things and very low IQ. But um, that's just my theory on the whole thing. That's why I like to talk about positive things, like, uh, you know, the great comic books that I'm reading. I uh, am working on, on getting equipment together to stream video games, and I'm, I'm going to do a Let's Play a Final Fantasy VII Remake shortly. And I hope you guys stay and stick around to watch that. Uh, subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Entertainment, Mad Max's channel. The guy is great. He does a live stream pretty much every night, like an hour and a half to two hours. I kind of tune out the live streams because it's too long. But he does release like 15 to 25 minute videos pretty much every day. And those are good. He, he brings the hot takes in those, gets right to the point. Because with the live streams, it's kind of like a panel. And I kind of zone out because they're just too long. There's so many hours in the day. But those um, quick videos, he gets straight to the point. I love it. Keep, keep, keep up the good work, Max. Hope you watch this video. Anyway, this has been Ranting and Raving with Kevin. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for next week's episode of Ranting and Raving. We'll figure out what the next topic is we can discuss. i got to steer away from the politics because I can't really reason with these people with politics. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, thank you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And everyone have a great day.